We have something new today. This is a laptop, not a TV. So we're going to repair this Dell Inspiron Intel i5. So before I power up this unit, uh, I found that there's something inside that is rattling. So I need to disassemble the unit first to remove it to avoid short circuit. So the loose part is a CMOS battery. This is uh, connected, supposed to be connected to the PCB. So the unit is not powering on, no LED, it's completely no power. So uh, I have to check the voltage rail or any short circuit on the, on the board. So this is the voltage regula regulator RT8206B. So based from the schematic, this is the first voltage rail that is uh, going to, to be on. So this voltage regulator is supplying the standby voltages, the 3.3 volts and the 5 volts. And further check on the this voltage regulator circuit this uh, two voltages is uh, feed to two inductors pl7 and pl8 so during my probing i found one of the voltage is low the 3.3 so this is the pl8 inductor and the field 7 so I also noticed that the voltage regulator is extremely hot when you connect the adapter so this uh, this implies that there's a problem there's a short circuit internally on this voltage regulator so I have the components on hand ordered from online ready for installation
removal process uh, you must use flux and hot air with the correct temperature setting to <coughs> prevent from damaging the board and the component too much heat will cause delamination on the PCB So here's the voltage regulator after replacement. Visual inspection on the pins found no defect. So after replacing the voltage regulator, the unit powered up. So we we're going to assemble the board. So this is the unit after assembly. So we repaired this uh, motherboard caused by the shorted voltage regulator or defective voltage regulator so this unit is 13.3 uh, inches high definition display so the unit is still working after 24 hours of use and burn in test so this is a portable laptop and does not include uh, DVD. This, this one also has uh, built in Bluetooth. So, here I tested the HDMI output, and it's also working. So, sum up so this unit failed due to defective voltage regulator. So I hope you learn again something in my in this video and see you again next time. Thank you.